The topic of this video is determining whether a function is one to one. Let's solve two problems. All right, here we go. We're presented with two functions and we're asked if they happen to have the additional property of being one to one. Let's look at the first one. All right, a function is one to one if for any two different inputs, you get two different outputs which means you can prove something is not one-to-one -one if you can find two different inputs that lead to the same output, like here. In this particular instance, two different inputs, Shimania and Andrew, both lead to the same output, Jeffrey. And for that reason, this function is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, let's look at our next function. This is a collection of ordered pairs, and we notice that all of the inputs are different, and in addition, all of the outputs are different. So what that means is, it doesn't matter which two different inputs you pick, it will always lead to two different outputs because all of the outputs are different. And for that reason, this function is a one-to-one -one function. And you might be thinking to yourself, where did the name one-to-one -one function come from? Well, it turns out that any function that is a one-to-one -one function has the additional property that for every one input, there corresponds one output. There is a one-to-one -one ratio of inputs to outputs. Okay, that concludes this problem.